some tricks or properties related to cross product of vectors. So the first property is that the cross product of the vectors is not commutative. In fact, you can call that reverse commutative. That is, vector A cross vector B will be equal to minus vector B cross vector A. That is, they will be in opposite directions. And the second property is that if there are two vectors and a scalar, then you can multiply either of the vectors with the scalar first and take the cross product with the remaining or multiply the cross product with the scalar to get the same result. And the third property is similar to this. So if we have two vectors on two scalars, then all the four of the following expressions will have the same value. And then we have the distributive property. That is, if you have a vector cross product with sum of two vectors, then you can distribute that cross product onto the two vectors in the sum. And you can write another variant of this by writing the sum as the first vector. And in a similar way, this property can also be used for difference of the vectors. Please subscribe to the channel to not miss any future uploads. See you tomorrow.